Hey guys, Smitty here, and it's time for a new PvP rank list. And whoa, we have already 19 playable classes. That will be tough. Uh, are you hyped yet? Hopefully your class won't end in my lowest ranks and you won't get mad at me for it. <laughs> and before we start, I would like to remind you that regardless of this rank list, even lowest rank can win against the highest one, with same gear if more skilled. And, as I said in my last PvP rank list video, some classes are just easier or have better skill set to raise their win capability. And also, this is my personal opinion, I might be wrong about some classes. We are all humans after all. <laughs> I won't talk as much about some classes that I've already mentioned in last video, just to not repeat myself, unless there were some changes in it. So let's start from the bottom tiers and make our way up. This time, on 19th place, I will put Archmage, as she's just very bad, nothing else to say. Continuing our poor rank, Darkness, nothing changed, slow and bad. Next is Warrior, this time not the last, as 3 buffs in a row made him just a little stronger, which is not enough anyway. Number 16, Archmagician, she's not bad, but other classes are just better. Now that she's not new anymore, she dropped down quite a bit, but she's OP in 3 vs 3. 15 spot goes to Maeva, same thing as Arc Magician. Everybody just learned her now, and she's not that scary anymore. And you will be surprised, but Raven drops down to 14th place, as she has one little problem. She's too fast and is unable to make good immunity rotation, which makes her vulnerable against skilled players. 13th will be Striker. After his buffs he became better, even though he's great in PvP and can make some fancy plays, I think he's way too hard to master to get on higher tiers. Another Fallen Angel is Destroyer. While many classes got buffs, he didn't. And Absolute classes are way too fast for Destroyer and can do a lot of damage. I personally can still do a lot of fancy stuff with this guy, but I've never had problems facing it, so only number 12. Next will be again our big boy, the Titan, which is quite good, I can say, but just not enough for high skill PvP. The spin to win tactic never work on high tiers, children. But I can say that spin skill is very strong. On full cast can deal up to 3000% of damage in PvP on first level, without elements and grids, that's a lot. And we reach top 10, guys. Bored yet? Then pause the game, have a drink and come back. I have 10 more classes to reveal and rank for you. Number 10. Lancer. Yes, I know, she was number 1 last time, but I understood one simple thing. Yes, she's great. Yes, she can be a cheater. But so can be Striker, for example, in godlike skill hands. So this time the verdict is good but hard to master, only number 10. Number 9. This time, after the latest buff, Reaper shined once more for me. More damage, faster and better. Still, my pings makes me so mad because I can't use invisibility skill properly and for some reason most of times she gets interrupted during immunity skills transition, which is a bug just like Lan had first week after the release. Not cool, not cool. Number 8. Blader. Slowly, slowly these guys lose spots as many other classes excel in damage and speed. Still a good choice. Number 7. Shadow. Oh, that great frontal block. Make so much for this girl. And overall, let's admit, Dark Knight is just sexy as f just like her skills and movements. Number 6. Berserker. That monster stays strong and still on 6th place. His buff, if used right, breaks any limits of PvP balance, and the immunity on range skill makes him just too good. Number 5. Paladin. I still think she's an amazing PvPer. If used properly, she can beat any class, and her OP combo is still one of the best. Number 4. Tamer. She is still good for many reasons. Now, the top 3 classes are all super strong, and it's quite hard to decide who and which spot should take. There is like 1% margin in between them, but I feel like third should be Windwalker. Lack of ranged attacks make her quite vulnerable to the next 2 classes. The second will be Lan. She does great against Windwalker and she is the only one that can kite our assassin, outrun her and damage with range attacks. And the first one will now be Hunter, the class that fears nothing, and she's just too good against any other class, even Lan have big troubles against a skilled Hunter. But 
In mass PvPs, Windwalker and Lan just beat the hell out of Hunter, so think twice before choosing a main. Before I end this video, I would like to announce you guys that soon Parallabis will hopefully announce the release date of their global launch of Black Desert Mobile, and I will try to give you all the guidance you need to better understand the game even before it is released. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to not lose the precious info that you will need to start the game properly. And that was it for my updated top list, if you disagree with some or all the rankings, feel free to comment about it, and we can discuss my decisions. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day!